It's such an honor to introduce Astrid Bennett Gutierrez. Uh, Astrid, along with Janet Marana, Executive Director of Priester Life and also the co founder of a Silent No More Awareness campaign. Astrid is with us on the Catholic View for Women, a program that has been on the air now at EW Chan for about five years, and thanks be to God, is growing in popularity. You can find us online as well as the Catholic View for Women.com. Astrid has been involved in the pro life movement for many, many years, even though she's very young. She's currently the president of Hispanics for Life, previously directing the Los Angeles Pregnancy Services, or LAPS, a pregnancy help center located right in LA's abortion ground zero. She's a member of the Missionaries of the Gospel of Life, Lay Association of Priests for Life. She's also a co-host, as I said, of The Catholic View, and she's also a radio host as well. And she's appeared on other networks, such as Fox News, CNN, Univision, and the NBC affiliate Telemundo discussing pro-life issues as they relate to the Hispanic community. And she's currently working on her master's degree in theology with a concentration in bioethics at Holy Apostolates College and Seminary. My dear friend and co-host of the Catholic View for Women, Astrid Bennett Gutierrez. Good evening. Buenas noches a todos. Gracias. The mission of Hispanics for Life is to train and activate Hispanic pro-life leaders to end abortion in their communities. We seek to be a bridge between the Hispanic community, which is instinctively pro-life, to the mainstream pro-life movement and the powerful projects that already exist. We are privileged to be here tonight and very happy to announce that Hispanics for Life is launching a new period of growth as a national organization at the World Meeting of Families and all of you here tonight can be a part of it. It is hard to overstate the importance of activating the Hispanic community for pro-life. A quarter of abortions are done on Hispanic women, which is twice the rate of Anglo women. Abortion businesses like Planned Parenthood are notorious for placing abortion clinics in neighborhoods where minorities live. In fact, 79% of Planned Parenthoods are within walking distance of a minority neighborhood. And pro-abortion politicians deceive our population by hiding their position on abortion. Many Latinos vote for pro-abortion politicians without realizing that they are voting for the destruction of our children. There are some key things that you should know about Latinos and how to help them embrace the pro-life position. The first thing I would say is the Hispanic community expects you to show them exactly what you are telling them. In other words, please use the images of abortion when you are reaching out to Hispanics. Hispanics for Life produced a video with Eduardo Verastegui some years ago that shows the truth of what abortion does to innocent babies. It's called Dura Realidad, which means hard truth. Eduardo also shows in the video how you can use it to save lives. Countless babies have been saved by this video, and many Hispanic leaders have been inspired to join the movement thanks to this video, and I am one of them. I was in New Mexico a few months ago, and I spoke to a group of about 100 Hispanic parents in a prayer group. And I asked them who had seen Dura Realidad. Not one hand went up. Now this parish looked to me like it was very pro-life, many pro-life signs, beautiful uh, images of unborn babies. And yet none of these uh, families had seen the video. At the end of the presentation, they were, many of them were moved to tears and were asking a lot of questions. At the end of the presentation, uh, a woman came up to our table and she waited until everybody had left and she told me, you know, I wish I'd seen that video some years ago. I had an abortion. It devastated me. And I think if I had seen that video, my child might be alive today. I want to know why it is that the pro-life movement says defend life, why you tell us to celebrate life, and yet we're not shown the truth of what abortion does to a baby. It's very important that you show the images of abortion. When Hispanics are motivated 
by a pro-life presentation. Hispanics are very action-oriented, so please have activities ready because we want to know where the babies are being killed. Typically, when I do a talk, Hispanics want to go to the places where babies are being killed, and today starts 40 Days for Life. So I'm so happy to see many of you here that are involved in 40 Days for Life. God bless you all. God bless you, and if you see on the internet, a lot of signs for 40 Dias por la Vida. So it's in many Hispanic communities throughout the world. And number two, I'm sorry, number three, Hispanics are, are family oriented. So when you activate the parents, the youth come along. When you activate the youth, the parents want to join, which is a wonderful thing and very indicative of our values. Latinos are pro-life and we are pro-family. We are right outside here tonight, so we invite you to come out. We'd love to meet you. We want to help you activate the Hispanics in your community. We have this video here tonight, so please come out and, and take a copy. Um, we are on social media, Hispanos Pro Vida, Hispanics for Life. We have a website, hispanicsforlife.com. We ask for your prayers uh, for this movement. Hispanics are a sleeping giant, ready to be awakened, and I know that we are going to be part of the solution of ending abortion in our our country, but we need your help. Thank you very much. Unas palabras en español. Los hispanos que están aquí, les agradezco tanto lo que están haciendo por la vida. Los hispanos somos pro vida, somos pro familia, pero estamos siendo atacados por la industria del aborto. Yo siento que los hispanos somos la respuesta a la crisis del aborto en este país. Somos pro vida. Y es importante que cuando ustedes compartan sobre este tema, usen las imágenes del aborto. Tenemos un video que Eduardo Verasti realizó aquí afuera en la mesa de información para que vengan. Estamos aquí para entrar entrenarles y activarles para que puedan defender la vida. Invitamos a los padres de familia y también a los jóvenes que sean parte de esta solución. Gracias. Dios los bendiga.